Welcome back to Beyond the Rings Short Stories. This is Jeff Wells. Thank you again for joining us today as you get to hear some stories from previous Olympic ministry outreaches. And just as a reminder, I've been to uh, 10 Olympics over 20 years, both summer and winter, um, at 10 different games. So five summer, five winter, since the summer of 2000. I invite you to join uh, me uh, at beyondtherings.net. There you can learn about how to be a support team member. And we need support team members. Support team members pray, they give, and they share. They pray about what God is going to be doing in Paris 2024 and about Beyond the Rings ministry. They give as the Lord leads them to help uh, us produce uh gospel pens to share in gospel conversations, pens that we give away to people um, free as we have gospel conversations with them, um, and then also to help support uh, the leadership, um, such as myself, while on the ground during the Olympic outreach, as I'll be in Paris next summer for over 20 days, and obviously that's a substantial financial need to make that happen. So there's many ways to give, and then to share. Tell others about Beyond the Rings. Tell others about this podcast. Tell others about beyondtherings.net where they can go and read stories and see a video and hear um, other podcast episodes about what God is doing at the Olympics. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you about um, media. It's so interesting as I, I'm blessed to be here at the Triple Play studio, um, sh uh, making these recordings, sharing my stories about how media and how um, getting information out has changed so much just in 20 years that I've been involved in Olympic ministry. I'll never forget when I was preparing to go to my first Olympics in the summer of 2000, as I was living in Evansville, Indiana, uh, when the local news um, got wind of uh, myself and another local pastor going, um, we made the paper and we made the evening newscast. And now um, Evansville is not a small town. It's a, it's a good sized city. It's the third largest city in, a, in Indiana. Um, and uh, they've got a lot of other things to report on. And in fact, <laughs> that night uh, when the news story ran, we followed the announcement that the renowned um, historic uh, coach for Indiana basketball, Bobby Knight, had retired. We were the next story. <laughs> so uh, we were pretty, pretty high up in, in the, the newsreel uh, for that evening. And so since the very beginning, media has been a, an interesting part of the Olympic ministry for me. Um, and for many who were involved in the Olympic ministry over the years. And what's really neat about that is it is it's certainly fun to have conversations with the media, to talk to people about what you're doing. Um, but what God has given shown me over these years is how we can use those opportunities for the gospel. And so like even that Indiana, uh, both the newspaper and uh, the news station running those reports, we were able to share that we're going there to talk to people about Jesus. Um, and it could be as as mundane of that type of a of a plug for the gospel, if you will, to a full fledged explanation of the gospel using uh, the the gospel pen um, to do that. And so, a couple ways that 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 I've experienced that over the years is one, in fact, two two that really stick out to me. One was when we were in. Uh, London for the 2012 Summer Olympic Games, and we spent a lot of our time at Trafalgar Square, uh, which I didn't do enough research and history study going into that event, uh, that city that summer, because it didn't even occur to me how significant that square was in history, especially related to World War II. And uh, so we, but we, we found that that was a great place to gather. People gathered there. It was a great place to meet people and engage in gospel conversations. But I'll never forget one of the things that happened there was there were there were reporters there and they were looking for people from around the world to interview them as to why they were here in London for the Olympics. And um, I can't remember who it was from our team, but uh, they they uh, had me uh, be the media spokesperson for the day. And uh, I was interviewed uh, by, um, I believe it was a Great Britain um, television channel. Um, and again, was able to share, yeah, I'm, I'm an American. I love being in London. I did. It was a wonderful experience. Beautiful city. Um, love the culture. The games have been exciting. But let me tell you why I'm here. <laughs> 
I'm here because I love Jesus, and I'm here to talk to people about how they can know the love and the forgiveness of Jesus Christ. And it, it was just a very powerful opportunity that can multiply and expand the, the mission um, so that it, it can be shared later. Another way that, that we saw that happen uh, was when we were in Sochi during the 2014 Winter Games. Um, loved being in Sochi. Great people. Was a little nervous because Americans hadn't been there in a long time. And as of course we know, the, the tension between U.S. and Russia over the years. And um, but the Russian people were amazing. They were incredible. Well, one of the things that Sochi 2014 did that I don't remember from previous Olympics, and maybe they had, and I just don't remember it, was that each uh, venue had their own broadcast for that venue. So there was a camera person, there was a, uh, a reporter, and they would look for stories to do that would be broadcast just right there to the venue. And so we were at a downhill um, ski event, and um, we had made our way outside, and I think we'd gone to the restroom and got something to eat or whatever. And, you know, it's we're on, on the ski slope, and we're, you know, behind the bleachers, and they got lots of bleachers set up there where uh, thousands of people were sitting uh, watching the finish line of the downhill event. And we were there for a women's downhill event that day. And the, the reporter had approached us, and they saw all of our pins on our hats and our lanyards and said, hey, you're in the pin trading? We're like, yeah. And they, they were Russian, but they spoke very good English. In fact, she was the English reporter for the station or for, and for that area, that venue. And so she's like, uh, maybe we can do uh, – uh, uh, you can teach me how to do pin trading, and we'll show it um, – uh, to the uh, to the venue and we're like sure and so we 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 kind of went through what we were going to talk about i take this pin off and give it to her and she'd turn around and give me the pin she was willing to trade but what she didn't know because we were going to be broadcast live and so i had told my team members i'm like hey pray for this opportunity we've already kind of set up how we're going to do this pin trading and it is pin trading is a fun event it's fun for children and families there are some people who go to the olympics literally just to trade pins they don't care about the events they don't care about the city they want to trade pins it's that serious of a thing okay but we would use that opportunity to legitimately educate her and people in the, the venue about pin trading at the Olympics. But once we got done doing the trade, because we don't trade or sell the pin that we use for the gospel, we give that away free, because just like it's a free gift of God's uh, forgiveness for us through His Son, Jesus Christ. So we never charge for the pins, and we don't trade them. We give them away, uh, the gospel pins. So once we finished... Uh, the the mock predetermined trade and explained how that works and how to get a good trade and all that kind of stuff. I said, I've got another pin. I'll give it to you if you'll let me tell you the story behind it. And she's just like, wait, you, you, you'll give me a pin? I'm like, yeah. So I took my hat off, took uh, the Jesus pin, evangelism pin uh, off, and I handed it to her. I, actually, I think I held it in my hand. And I went through the gospel with this reporter broadcast live to all those in the stands at that venue that day we were watching the downhill women's ski event now that was pretty cool in and of itself i mean that's an opportunity to expand to multiply the gospel witness in that moment it made the time to get out there it made the cost to buy the ticket uh, for the event, it made it all worthwhile, in addition to all the other conversations we had. Well, that's one of the things, interesting things that came out of it. So after that was all said and done, they go continue to do their thing. We make our way back into the stands, back up to our seats. They were pretty high up. And we're sitting there for a while watching the events. And we noticed that uh, another different media group had shown up down there a reporter and a camera person and they're looking up in the stands and we're wearing black cowboy hats with pins on them and um, similar colored jackets and they spot us and they make their way up to us and they are from i can't even remember where i want to say an, an asian country um and they had seen the pin trading story broadcast live at the venue because they were there and they wanted to record us 
doing the same thing with them that they could then share back into their home country. And so we're like, absolutely. And so once again, we go through a, a mock pen trade and we literally do trade pens and the, 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 the camera person gets it all recorded and the reporter, we have a really great exchange, really great encounter. And then afterwards, I'm like, I got another pen. I'll give it to you if you let me tell you the story behind it. Absolutely. Yeah. Free pen. Yeah. Free Olympic pen. Tell me. So I go through the whole gospel again. The entire gospel story about how we're separated from God from our sin, how Jesus in his love came to pay the price for our sin, how he died, shed his blood for our sin so that we can have forgiveness and a new relationship with God if we would just repent and follow Jesus and how we one day will be in heaven with Jesus because of his forgiveness offered to us. So went through the whole thing, presented the whole gospel. Now, how was it edited and rebroadcast back to their home? I don't know. But I know this much. It, it was shared multiple more times that day through media in that venue. And I firmly believe not only that event in Sochi, but I know we've had at least half a dozen of other opportunities where media from around the world have asked us to explain to them about pen trading, explain to them why we're there as an American, explain to them about the Jesus pen evangelism tool that we've used in the past and trusting that God has used that multiple times over. Uh, I know um, in Rio, so I, I mentioned I was uh, interviewed in uh, London during the 2012 games. I was interviewed um, by an Australian channel um, in Rio during the 2016 Olympics. Um, again, uh, a different Australian uh, broadcast team during the Sochi Games in 2014. It's just a very common thing. And again, grateful for the opportunity so that we can ex multiply and expand the gospel witness during the Olympic Games. And that's what Beyond the Rings Olympic Ministry is all about.